This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. They make eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by Rakuten. Rakuten is an online shopping platform that rewards you for shopping. It's the smartest way to save money when you shop. You can get cash back at over 3,500 stores across every single category, including fashion, electronics, home essentials, travel, dining, and so much more. Listen, you're already shopping, so why not save while doing it? Membership is free and it's easy to sign up. They deposit your cash back directly into your PayPal account or they can send you a check. Go to Rakuten.com now or download the Rakuten app today. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. Well fucking well, bitch. Well fucking well. <laughs> Well, fucking well, bitch. You know what we're not doing, honey? We're on, we're not on tour, bitch. No, nope, we're not. We're on honey, vacation. Honey, Ooh, Christmas cookies. Yes, we have Christmas an, cookies. We have an item on the menu called homemade cookies. And you know, you want to know why they're homemade? Because David's mom bakes them, whatever she's feeling. Yeah. And brings them down here. They're beautiful. You can buy homemade mom's cookies. I don't know. I don't see Paris Hilton doing that at the Hilton hotels. I don't see Ramada. I don't see Radisson Blue. No. No, um, bitch. The Four Seasons. How are they? What if they're like, what if you bit into it and you're like, they are horrible, though? <laughs> no, they're good. They're really good. They're also very really pretty. Ooh. I got to say, I love this. I'm really happy for the, I'm real happy for I'm going to let you finish, but I love when these are chocolate and peanut butter. Okay. I, mm -hmm. like, I like these a lot. The sugar cookie and white chocolate. My, my hangover is just lifting. Finally. I'm making a mess. Is okay? Yeah. I mean. I'm going to tell Yeah. Um, what about the fact that I just, I just walked, there's a woman working on her computer. And she said hi to me when she walked in. And she wasn't in pink, which is the uniform, but I thought maybe she's upper management. <laughs> and I sat down next what to her. It? I sat down next upper to her. Upper management? And I asked her how she's doing, and I asked her about the Wi-Fi access, and she was like, I, I think it's just guest access. Yeah. I, by the way, I checked into room three, and um, uh, there are no, there's shitty towels in the bathroom. Yeah, I walked up and said, I, br I broke something in the Malibu, <laughs> but can you, no. <laughs> well, here we are. We're in Palm Springs. I'm going to be honest. I thought it was going to be cold here. It's hot. It's hot, bitch. And the pool is lovely, gal. The pool is lovely. We drove here. Can you talk about it? Can you talk about it for a minute? I, Because I imagine if I were you, uh -huh. I would have um, woken up and been like, okay, is this fucking bitch going to kill me in her car? <laughs> like, and that would have been a very real, that would have been a very real, very like, um, very like reasonable fear. Yo, can I be honest? Uh, yeah. I thought that. Of course you did. I <laughs> and mean, I, I wasn't joking to myself. No, I thought, no, no. Is it, what if how we, this is how we die. I, I thought about that for the whole week. And then I thought, what the if whole she's, week. I thought, what if she's not doing so well? Exactly. And then she drives me. She shows up two sheets to the wind or whatever. And then she drives me yeah. and then yeah. I lose a leg and she feels bad, bad forever. Yeah. And then she spirals, you know. Do you know what I thought? This is, this is where I went last night when I was like, I'm going to go to bed early and I'm going to wake up early and be refreshed. I had breakfast. I was like, did all the things because mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not going to kill this person in my car. Um, <laughs> but if it was just you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. <laughs> Drunk. It's fine. But like, but I thought I was like, okay, what's going to happen is we're going to get into it. Um, like a twi you know, twisted metal flames accident <laughs> and um, I'm going to survive. <laughs> And they're going to do a toxicology report. <laughs> and then you're d dead and your family's, the, the whole family's going to sue me. Mary. And then, I, hello. Mary. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hi. <laughs> no, Mary. How are you? <laughs> this whole thing played out my head. I know. I know. I know. Including I know. the toxicology report. I know. Report. I know. I know. I'm no dummy. And I was like, I've been thinking about it every day for a week. <laughs> every day for a week. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what? I was like, I was like, and I'm like, and then I was thinking, I was like, is it, is it a compliment? Is it, a, is it an honor to have the trust of somebody or are they so reckless with their life that they would trust it with mine? You know what I mean? So no, but, I thought, you know what? I thought cars are really sophisticated now. Like they're yeah. self-driving. I thought she could show up Sybil and like, we could still make it there. Like reasonably. my hands would even get to the wheel. Yeah. yeah Jeff, Jeff. 
Jeff, Jeff Bezos. Is was that the guy who owns Elon Tesla? Musk? Elon Musk. Yeah. Mary, he's driving your car. Yeah, right. He's got one hand on Twitter. He's gonna one hand on the wheel of your car. <laughs> Elon, but, take the wheel. But wait, so but I did fine. You did a great job. Yeah. You have a beautiful car. Can we say it's a Range Rover? I think so. It's, it's not one of them fancy ones. One of them poor ones. It's a poor one. Yeah, it's, it's a poor a smaller one. one. It's nice. I mean, not and not to be uh, somebody who hasn't driven in a while. The screen, big fancy. Yeah, every two, car has yeah, an iPad. Screen. Every car has a seventy-two inch yeah, home theater system. It's in the crazy, front. but I don't because I'm like the per, I'm like analog. Like I'm like I said, I was like I'm looking back if I'm going in reverse. You doing because, this? Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay. Like you don't do that anymore. You look at the screens and then I can't trust the computer and then everything's on a computer and I'm like, I don't want it, whatever. But it's, you know, it makes catch you up with the times. Have you ever seen Tangerine? Mm-mm. There's that, it's a film about um, sex workers. Oh yeah, shot on an iPhone or something or a banana. I forget. It's shot on like a phone. Yeah. yeah and it's, yeah. some of it is, um, let's say sex workers, probably uh, maybe trans identifying sex workers. Okay. And this girl, she gets picked up by this guy and they're going through a car wash for the sex act. And the scene is shot from the back seat, and you see their silhouettes, and the, like the car wash starts, and you think, "Oh, she's a hooker. She's gonna suck his cock." You better believe that. Like bald fucker sucks sucks her dick while she just sits there in the car oh, wash like this, working at the car wash <laughs> while Rose Royce plays. You, you might not you, ever you get suck it. A dick. <laughs> I did. Th- I actually. I'm not saying we have the same brain, but I was in bed last night, drunk, Ugh. drunk but yeah. thinking, "Yeah, I'm gonna die in this car crash," uh-huh. and. She's going to have blood that's not so pure as Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the toxicology report is going to be liable, and I'm I'm going to have to... People are going to hate her. Yeah, it's going to be killing over. me. Yeah. You, yeah. It, it'll yeah. be like a Jane Mansfield situation. Yeah. Yeah, the head cut off. I almost said James Mansfield. I'm pretty Same sure she's thing. alive. Haven't talked to her today. <laughs> she's doing okay. But, I mean, I thought about it. I thought about it long and hard mm-hmm. and very deeply. White knuckling it all week. Yeah, I was like, okay, okay, okay. But, but and now also, that you're here... It's hey. done. We're seeing. We're probably seeing Bianca tonight. Somebody's uh, getting drunk. <laughs> but I was like, because I've never been on the ten. Mm-hmm. I've never been on the ten. It was the yeah, one hundred and one to the ten. The okay, whole see, way. if I didn't know that, yeah, maybe I would have taken a car. Really? <laughs> You're like, I also don't have a license. <laughs> no, I mean, I can't believe you trusted me to do it. Um, there are certain people in our life that I would never get behind the wheel of, a, or I would never allow drive me long places. Madame Laqueur. Yeah. <laughs> I wish she was in my life. My I, God. Met, <laughs> I, I met her the other night for the first She's time. She's really great. I didn't know who she was. Well, yeah, because she also lost a ton of weight. That's the thing. I yeah. thought to myself, she yeah. kind of does look like Madame LaCroix. And David goes, I think that's Madame LaCroix. And I said, yeah. She's really trim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She has like, she had a, a wild transformation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear people talking? Yeah, there are people talking over there. Oh, hi. Yeah. A little tour. But they love I to love tour. To tour. <laughs> I love to tour the motel. <laughs> this is a beautiful motel. Now, I've seen it, obviously, but. This is really, really something. Well, it's really special. We opened in September, and we've been on tour. Yes, I haven't have. been here since we're open, which is why I walked up to a guest today, right. like they worked here. Yeah. But you know what, though? This is just a lesson. If you walk up to anyone confident enough and give them something to do, they'll do it. <laughs> they'll do it. You treat someone like they work there, they'll work there. Well, if I like throw my keys to somebody, will they just think that they're my valet? They'll they'll catch them and get in your car and drive you somewhere. That's yeah. what I'm, okay, maybe I should try that Can you even catch... Do you guys have that kind of relationship where you can no that we assistant don't do that. thing where you're like hold my gum? <laughs> no, we're not there. No, it's not. It's not like um. It's you don't not... spit in her hand. <laughs> I spit gum in Brandon's hand all the time. Before I get on stage, I put out my butt. <laughs> I've spit in his hand gum. Yeah, I've spit in Venus hand. Yeah, I I try. I don't I don't like doing that. I will find a trash can. I don't like it. I know you do, but sometimes you it's do, happening. <clears throat> do you know how many times yeah. I've had gum in my mouth on stage during our show? Seriously? I'll Do forget and then I'm out there and I'm like, Do you swallow well, it? I, I heard that it stays in your stomach forever. I'm scared of that. No, it does not. It moves through the system. It breaks down. The I need the toxicology <laughs> report on that. On that, honey. I gotta she wasn't about. drunk, but her stomach was filled with gum. <laughs> filled with it. Um, last night I went to see Andrew Yang's Christmas Cabaret. Musical. Christmas Cabaret. Cabaret. And it was so fun. It was Andrew painted up like a actual clown whore. Yep. Clown whore. Clown makeup. Yeah. Whore little body. Couture yep. little dress. Yeah. And then it's all these porn people. Yeah. All these drag queens. Wild. And it was at Plaza in in on La Brea in yep. LA, which is or was or believes it is a Mexican <laughs> restaurant. Because it looks oh, like wait, a, it does have the tables, tables are set up family style. They are. That is so weird. They don't serve food there. They sh- they certainly don't. No, and they <laughs> should. I wish well, they yeah, did. I if guess I, so. That's one of my favorite things about going to like a Hamburger Mary's. Sitting yeah, and eating. eating. But eating and drag does not, to me, that does not. 
like it's not dinner theater. We're not at medieval times. Unless we can we throw are. our burgers at the dream. You know what I mean? I don't. You want don't, jousting? I just want. I worry. I want like two drag queens on bird scooters running at each other with uh, canes. <laughs> two drag with queens walkers. <laughs> with walkers. I mean, that would be fierce. I don't know. I. I mean, actually, hamburger Mary's food is not that bad. No, not it's at all. It's not that bad. Um, shout out to the. I think they're called Britney Fried Spears. They're fried pickle spears. Oh they're yeah, fucking I love sickening. those. I those love are really fried good. pickles. It's a little expensive though. But any oh. food in LA is so expensive. I, that's Eat what here. I discovered. And Eat I had the a lovely motel. pizza. How was your pizza? It was great. Wasn't it was that great? great. And the cookies were lovely. Oh, there's some more. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah, I'm gonna have that one. Um, yeah, we. The pool is fabulous. The pool is borderline hot. It's yeah, it's pee warm. It's, it's fabulous. Piss warm. Yeah, you, you get overheated. Yeah, it's lovely. It's amazing. It's lovely. It's actually yeah. really weird to jump in a pool and feel absolutely no shock. Of like cold. It's super strange. Yeah, it does feel like a tub. Have you ever peed on yourself in the at tub? Night, at night, it's warmer in there than it is outside. Actually, it is now. Like you get out and it's a little chilly. Have you ever peed on yourself in the tub? In the bathtub? Mm-hmm. While it's plugged? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. We're not peeing on ourselves. We're not sitting in the pee. That's like some call me by your name shit. They pee on each other in that movie? No, but they might. <laughs> But I'm saying like in the sequel, I called you by your name. <laughs> and you peed on me. Yeah. No, like I'm going to eat your cum peach. It's sort of like I'm going to sit in your piss water. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's a little like. Eat my cum peach and sit in my piss water. Sit in my piss water. Yeah, you old boot. Yeah, come down to the pink lotus and sit in my piss water, honey. This is. The- <laughs> There's a. They're eating cum peach. Oh my there, god! There's a tub here in the flower power room that is bright candy pink, okay. and I would love to piss in there. If I'm gonna <laughs> piss in a hot tub, that's if I'm gonna piss in a tub, that's the one. Now why? Well, because if, if you're gonna do something, you do it right. Okay. Same oh, reason. Because it's oh, because the, the water looks pink in there. Uh, well, it's just like a hot, hot, hot pink bathtub, and then just free, freely, freely letting loose my borderline green pee. <laughs> Tinged that, brown pee. Well, we the, the dehydrated, but when I did the first pee in the bathroom here when we got here, yeah. Oh, she was like, she was like pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. It shooting disgusting. out of your fucking, disgusting. shooting out of your wiry gray bush. <laughs> you got more hair on your dick than on your head, you no. bald old bitch. You old wired bitch. <laughs> you piss sitting tub ass bitch. You piss sitting tub ass little bitch. Come peach eating bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, he's probably like, God, are they yelling at me? Oh my god. Oh, see, look, cleaning the pool with go-go boots on. That's the kind of staff we got here. Wow, go-go boots. You really know how to train them here. Honey, when they work, start work here, they put on the little professional outfit and I say that. Do they do, now do you do interviews or do you just get drifters who wander in and you just put a name tag on them? Apparently, I walk up to guests <laughs> yeah. and I tell them what to do. Yeah. Um, no, we interview people. A lot of the people are from hospitality. I mean, we have people coming from, people interview from Disney, people interview from, some people are hotel professionals some people just love the trixie motel and they're like i want to work at your motel so we have a lot of people a to lot pick of from. diverse people well we have a lot of people to pick from we don't just have to pick whoever because a lot good. of people want to work here i mean i would want to work here it seems like a sweet gig you pay minimum wage <laughs> no we don't pay minimum wage competitive rates yeah i don't think anybody here is i don't know i don't yeah. I don't, I don't feel comfortable talking about what people get paid here. yeah you don't even know who works here so. i don't know what you make here <laughs> We were talking about an internship. We were talking about we well on the way here. We tried not to talk about anything that was. We tried to get things out that we wouldn't talk about the pod. Right. We talked about sex and money salaries. (laughs) We talked about um, some things I saw at the drag show last night that I wouldn't. I wouldn't repeat. Right. Yeah. Insider trading stuff. I was slack jawed. Some of the things that were said and done. Pete from Mile was there sitting next to me, and I was like, "Well, I was also I got really drunk." You got so everybody's mildly reacting, and I'm like, (laughs) like I don't know what I was doing. I was like, I was like doing theater and then pete was like i was like the pete if was like he's, the, if he was like the, the pr nightmare oh that right we, that we, yeah it was right plaza though yeah i mean it's a little um i've seen some enclave i've seen some i hope this isn't a read i've seen some good old drag shows there the classic drag the proper the, yeah. put on the gown put on the ballad Do the old gaga girl give them the good old the just good old dance gaga. era yeah. halloween express costume gaga <laughs> yeah the 50 year old um uh, woman in a in a like a, a ten dollar cat suit. Yes, give me like um you know uh unshaved arms, pockmarked skin, and some of those glasses that say like Gaga. Yes, that's what yeah. I want. Just say what it is. Say what it is. Say what it is. Say a good is. drag is tired. 
You know what I realized last night? Well, good drag is so common these days. Like it's not, it's not like not a- Not common enough <laughs> between us, but- yeah. Well, I didn't say that we did good drag. <laughs> I said that we knew where to find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said that we could. The best thing about it is- We, we is could if we would, we, we could, don't want to. <laughs> but we don't. Well, no, we do theater. I went to three Christmas things this week. What'd you do? I went to Andres Regal Christmas party okay. on Monday. And what was that? You had to bring an ornament to trim his tree. Okay. And he had ornaments from over the years of all his parties. Oh, that's cute. Ornaments. 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 Yeah. Ornaments. Foliage. Did you bring the cum peach ornament? <laughs> well, I was like, oh, this is kind of funky. David got like a parachuting Santa. That's wacky. Uh -huh. And mine was like a vintage turtle dove ornament. That's wacky. Yeah. I walk up to his tree. About half of them were cocaine themed. What? I was like, oh Drug my. Themed? I was like, oh my. My ornament is tired. One of them was a go go boy, a beefy muscle queen ornament. One of them was like a coke ornament. One of them what was. What do you mean a coke ornament? One of them what did it look like? A pair of dentures painted. Oh, that's fun though. Yeah, that's fun. It was. It was really <sighs> cool ornaments. 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 I got a tree. I love it. I love, I love the tree. I love to trim the tree, but it's fake. It's a faker. Yeah, nobody wants a real who's tree. Uh, who's dragging pine needles into their home in their home? That's something. That real trees is something invented by Dyson to get you to buy vacuums. That, you know what? That's true. That's like why Listerine created halitosis. Absolutely, no, it's true though. You think? No, no, it is true. Babies were invented by Pampers. Obesity is not real. Halitosis is a, is a myth. It's all it's all made up. Obesity is not real. Obesity is like a term that was like coined by the barometric. <laughs> I could see you making this shit up. As you, I could see you making this shit up. You little liar. You little fucking lying bitch. You cum peach eating ass bitch. I, call me by your name. Did you? you we, we still have to see the cannibal movie. Bones and all. Bones and all. Bones sticking out. I've seen that and the whale right now are having racquetball responses <gasps> of good and bad. David, did you see the whale yet? Did you see that? Are you going to see the whale? I'm not going to see it either, but in order I wanna to- I want to see it. I only want- I do not want to patronize a movie theater in order to see it. That's Hong one Chow. thing. I don't care. She's in everything though. She was in um the menu. She served. Yeah, literally. The menu. <laughs> she was a server. <laughs> she was a server. I want to see- She served. It's so fierce. We talked about in the car, but I was watching the the pre the commercial, the, the preview- and the whale? It's, it's Hong Chao crying. Oh, yeah. She looks fucking gorgeous. Yeah, she's, crying. She's such an incredible. Crying, crying, actor. crying. And then you have um, Brendan Fraser going. People are amazing. And I was like, okay, this movie's gonna be fucking crazy. It's yeah. It's I don't understand why Darren Aronofsky made it though. Do you know what I mean? His like his. And what movies did he do? Uh, Requiem for a Dream. Birds of Prey. No, no, no. Requiem for a Dream. The Wrestler. Um, Mother. Um, uh, the uh, what else did he do? He's made, he's like one of the, our, our like, this is, he's an auteur of our time. Doing wacky movies. Yeah, doing like, I mean, they're all, always like a challenging sit. You know what I mean? They're not exactly feel good films. Are they crazy? They're crazy. They're how crazy? Are, are they're this, crazy and unforgettable. On a scale of, uh, Requiem for a Dream to Please Baby Please, how crazy? Um, I would, I mean, they're, they're crazy. Like, but this one is strange. Like, why would he make this film? I don't understand it. Is Requiem for a Dream ass to ass? Yes. Yeah. I've not seen it, but people always talk about that. It is so disturbing to watch. Okay. He puts his characters through hell. They go, they through, go through hell. hell <laughs> I go through hell touring. <laughs> but, but this is like, so. this, I just, it's such a head scratcher. It's such a head scratcher. Do you like Latoya Jackson? <laughs> Do you like Latoya Jackson? Yes. You do. Okay. Yes. Okay. What else? Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is brought to you by Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company. They make eating well easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your preferences. Green Chef has expanded their menu. You can now choose from 30 recipes weekly with the option to mix and match meals from different dietary preferences in the same box without changing your plan. And they're now offering 10-minute lunches. Each week's menu includes two convenient, low-prep, and nutritious lunch recipes ready in just 10 minutes. No cooking required. Perfect for when you're on the go or pressed for time at the office. Eat well at lunchtime, too. I actually love Green Chef because I made the most incredible meal the other day. I was so proud of myself. It was the chicken with lemon basil pistu. Um, now, I don't usually eat artichokes, but these were fabulous. It included cauliflower rice with chard and dates. It was absolutely delicious, and I felt so proud of myself. 
Green Chef's recipes feature organic produce, premium proteins, and sustainably sourced ingredients. Raise your food standards in 2023 and reap the flavor benefits. And with Green Chef, you're reducing your food waste by up to 38% versus grocery shopping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Go to greenchef.com slash bald60 and use code bald60 to get 60% off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by Squarespace. Listen, Squarespace is the only place to make and manage a website. It is incredible. Uh, They make it so easy, they make it so user-friendly, and they make it cheap so that you can be an online presence in whatever way you want, whether that's um, a business, uh, entertainment, um, you know, selling little socks to children. Uh, They make it so easy, so simple to develop and manage um, a website. There are so many wonderful product features on Squarespace. Uh, For example, analytics. You can use insights to grow your business and learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. Online stores, absolutely. You can sell your products in an online store. Whether you sell physical or digital products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. Custom templates, I hear. Oh yes, yes God. Get started with the best in-class website template and customize it to fit your needs. Browse the category of your business to find a perfect starting place. They make it so, so easy. I have been using Squarespace for, oh my God, so many years now, and I love it so much. It is so easy, so wonderful to update my website, to uh, to remodel it. To It's just wonderful. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash bald to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Well, I want to know about Latoya Jackson. We're back. Is uh, d- no, Darren Aronofsky should have um, cast Latoya as the as whale. The whale. <laughs> yes. And, and not used a fat suit and just in like. And Brendan Fraser as Hong Chow. Thank you. And Hong Chow as just a, an ethereal spirit that inhabits each person. I don't know. Something. Well, maybe. Honestly, maybe there's a through line. Okay. Because think about it. Downsizing. Hong Chow's in that. It's about getting little. Yes. The whale. It's about getting big. big. The menu? It's about feeding. How how you get there. Hong Chao is telling She's stories of her the, own. She, it's actually, it's a trilogy directed, ghost directed by Hong Chao. Absolutely. And the, the meaning of the meaning of it is only accessible through all viewing, uh, viewing all three films. I would watch In her. a row. Hong Chao, if you're listening to the pod, come down to the motel. We'll give you a stay. Yeah. I just, I love her. She is electrifying. There's something She's there. She's electrifying. There's something there. She's electrifying. She's electrifying. Which is, and now, as someone with, of that caliber talent, now in Hollywood, you never know because the choices people make, uh, you never really, it's such an unstable, unpredictable career, right? Like, someone of her caliber, why they're choosing to do the whale, I, I can't really know. Well, I can't really I know. I think we talked about this. Do you see Downsizing? No, not yet. Mary, this is like her first big film. Yeah. I remember watching it and being like, okay, I guess it's Kristen Wiig, I guess it's Matt Damon, I guess it's whoever. Who the fuck was that bitch? Because yeah, she, she in, turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She she bends everyone over in that theater. She Plugs spreads the their ass cheeks <laughs> and she puts her tongue up in their ass with her acting, her t- acting tongue up their art ass, their art hole ass. She rims those fuckers. Well, that's the thing about Andrew's show. About seventy five percent of the people at that show had a fist inside them at that moment, including the people off stage. Yeah, it's it's a wild crowd. It's it was a, a wild, wild crowd. crowd. They've seen and done a lot. They've seen and done a lot. And I think a lot of people have seen them do a lot. Yeah. You know? If you want to know where I was last night, I spilled three drinks and I only had two. So, what, what, the whale. The whale. I can't get over it. So I need to see it in order to like, um, to, to be, have like a, a valid discussion of it. But Mary. Should we go to the drive-in? They have a drive-in here. I wonder if they're showing the whale at the drive-in. The movie looks so depressing and it looks so um, like it's like it's just cloying you, like just trying to get you to cry and trying to, like to get him an Oscar. You know what I mean? I hate well, that's that shit. All, that's how everything is now. Yeah, you got to put on a fat suit or, put, or make yourself ugly, put some bad teeth in and then like grovel and snovel in front no, of the camera. You get Frances McConroy down here. You give her a weird mole <laughs> and you, 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 she plays like a she plays like a disenfranchised French woman. And it's like. Yeah. You have to see this yeah. movie called The Letter. It's yeah, yeah. always something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Letter. Yeah. The Whale. The Girl. Yeah. The Wrestler. The Whale. The Pig. Yeah. The Million Dollar Baby. Now, that was fierce, though. She ate her own tongue. That's a sickening movie. Yeah, that is really, it is totally sickening. Like, sickening. I sick. cried so hard when she gets unplugged. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I just ruined the movie for everyone. <laughs> Sorry, when she unplugs her iPhone cable. <laughs> Sorry. In the first 10 minutes of the film. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, I watched, um, we watched a Christmas movie last night. Fell asleep, supposed to go to the cabaret. Mm-hmm. Didn't make it. Um, but uh, the Batman Returns. It's a wonderful Christmas movie. It is a Christmas movie. I love the they're lighting the tree and that girl falls from the rooftop and she's like... I... I was, I remember first watching this movie and I've seen it many times. Every time that she dies. She dies. I hate it's that. It's pretty dark. I feel like it's mean. What is it's, she called? It's very mean. The, it, the Ice Princess. The Ice Princess. Yeah, it's mean. When I did the Christmas Hollow Slay Spectacular, uh, Sonique, Sonique was in that. Yes, she did dress like that. I, I immediately got that reference. It was so, so smart and fun. That movie is so good. It's so good. Michelle Pfeiffer. That pink house. The black spray paint. Nobody, nobody can do it like her. Nobody. And and is we're we're led to believe that she's this mousy, um, unfuckable like, um, uh, you know, spinster kind of lady in the in the first bit. Uh-huh. And she's so hot. She's oh, so, she's gorgeous. She's so hot. Even. They're ma- they're making believe. Yeah, yeah. But but her acting is so good that she's selling it. And then she's in that super nineties glossy red lip. Oh yeah. With the Smoky. metallic, yeah. like black blue smoke eye. Yep. It's so fierce. It's so fierce. I wonder if it's latex, what she was wearing. It I think it's been, vinyl. It must have been I think it's, so uncomfortable. I, that's she, she's face talked wrap. about it. Yeah. She, I think she was so, she was very, very skinny. And I felt like she was probably starving the entire, like the entire production. You know what I mean? Yeah. She was, cause it was like, I think it's just stretch shiny vinyl though, which is, and she had a corset over it though. Christopher Walken's sickening in that too. So funny. Max Shrek. I also love the scene where she's in the department store with oh, the whip. Yeah. You know, she had to take real whip. Over that's real. That's a real take. Have you ever seen that TikTok? No. It's like a, well, it's like a, it's on TikTok. It's her doing it. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she really did it. She really did Three it. Three in a row. Yeah. She really did. The production was like cheering when she got that take. How did she learn to do that? People learn. It's like your thing you learn, you know. That looks really dangerous though. It is dangerous. You could poke your own eye out. Easy. Easy, easy. Yeah. It's fierce. Does everyone gay want to whip? There's something about whips I, that's sexy. I, well, whip cracks are, are like inherently gay for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, um, do I don't know why. Meatball did an eyeshadow palette with Hipped Out a couple years ago, and one of the shades is called Whipcrack.mp3. <laughs> that's, <even, laughs> that's so real. That's it, so whoa, real. Whoa, whoa, whoosh, what is that? It's like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. oh, what is that? Last night, oh god, at the show, Andrew crack? said, "Oh, just so you know, I'm um, forget her name in the show, but she's like, I kind of have her come out of retirement because she's a very famous pageant girl. Who? Right? And I forget who it was, but oh, Andrew shit. was like, I asked her to do this pageant number." You better believe she came out and did that. I'm every woman going into my lashes are this, my chicken, my oh, yeah, 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 chicken, because yeah, 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 I'm yeah. a true diva. Uh-huh. <laughs> Get on up. <laughs> the whole thing. The whole thing. Fuck. It ain't over until the fat lady sings. But it was all these kind of like muscly people who they uh, didn't they didn't really get it. It wasn't unless well I, okay, people with muscles. It's not that they don't know about drag, but real faggots. Yeah, they would. They'll know. They'll they know, know the words to that. Yeah, song. yeah, yeah, yeah. They know. So everyone's Deborah walking Cox like uh huh, uh huh, mm-hmm. and I'm. A, drunker than everyone in the room, I think, yeah. at this point. And I'm going, it ain't over. So the fat lady sings. And then I go, do, 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 do. And like, it, it, I was just, it was it was just <laughs> gratifying. I haven't heard that since like pre-COVID. Okay. And it was sort of like, the movies are back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? The drag queens are back. <laughs> yes. Yeah, totally. Well, I haven't heard, I mean, I don't, that's, yeah, that could be, that could have been one thing, like a cultural thing that had gone away forever. Seriously. Yeah. Like seriously, because those people could have died off. During COVID. That song really is. It's oh it's man. Something I, w- I won't drag even queen dot mp3. That's the that's what it is. Shit. Every drag queen has has that number. Yeah. I've I, never done it. I've never done either. But like, it was always in the show. Always. Either Lakia or Misery did it, and we were always in the dressing room going. Because it it's so, so many whip cracks. It's like. Yeah, and then then, there's sections where it's like, (laughs) like, what is that? It's, I mean, I, I don't know, especially also for bachelorettes who don't like have, they have no idea and they're not going to appreciate it. They want Katy Perry. Yeah. California girls with lollipops on the titties. They want I kissed a girl. It's so bizarre. This episode of the bald and the beautiful is brought to you by better help. When you're at your best, you can do great things, but sometimes life gets you down and You may feel overwhelmed or like you're not showing up in the way that you want to. Now, working with a therapist can help you get closer to the best version of you. I mean, we go to the gym to look like the best version of ourselves, but often our mental health is, uh, you know, neglected. I've benefited from therapy because 
I need the help of a professional, someone to, you know, so an impartial, um, trained person who can um, help me see things from a different perspective and also um, reorient my thinking. So if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, flexible, affordable, and entirely online. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. If you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash bald. This episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by Rakuten. Rakuten is an online shopping platform that rewards you for shopping. It's the smartest way to save money when you shop. You can get cash back at over 3,500 stores across every single category, including fashion, electronics, home essentials, travel, dining, and so much more. Listen, you're already shopping, so why not save while doing it? Membership is free, and it's easy to sign up. They deposit your cash back directly into your PayPal account, or they can send you a check. I love shopping with Rakuten because I do so much online shopping, I can get all these added benefits, and my PayPal account is sitting pretty right now. I also love it because they find me deals, sales, and coupons. They do all the annoying work of searching for coupon codes, so I get to save time and money. Start all of your shopping at Rakuten. Your cash back adds up. Cash back rates change daily. See Rakuten.com for details. Go to Rakuten.com now or download the Rakuten app today. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. Go to Rakuten.com now or download the Rakuten app today. That's R-A-K-U-T-E-N. By the way, I should mention, there's a little empty back here. One, the guests who are here are in the lobby and two check is not till four three i did diarrhea in the pool we gotta get it drained <laughs> get on up people don't know about the power of that song i wonder when they made it like if they knew whoever mixed that and had all those cracks if they joella knew- pussy oh is that person working you know about joella pussy what they had a pink shirt on yeah okay oh <laughs> well, they could be fans people who worked do you see how he talks to me <laughs> it's really abusive <laughs> Horrible. Look at David's leg. Can we talk about your leg? I know, I know. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to gaslight David because he is the one being abused. Clearly. David, you want to come say hi? Come wave? Sh- show the boot. Show get the, the boot. shoes, baby. Get the shoes. <laughs> get the shoes, baby. Get the shoes. <laughs> you should beat him to death with that boot, David. Come in the frame here. Hello. <laughs> Feature the boot. Yeah. Wait. What do you have to say to your fans? You're on HBO Max now. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, by the way. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's fierce. Yeah. HBO Max is that's 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 fierce. Well, I looked it up because I'm always crunching the numbers. Discovery yeah. Plus, um, of everyone, okay, they they surveyed everyone who has streaming services. Okay, nine percent of those people had Discovery Plus. Okay, thirty nine percent of those people have HBO Max. So we basically have another premiere at a network four times the size. Basically. It's incredible. So it's great. HBO Max is the shit. It's amazing. It's well, what I watched Batman Returns on last night. It's the home of Vigilantes. Vigilantes. Watch me. Okay. <laughs> It's the home of Watchmen. <laughs> David got drunk the other night and put it on in bed. He put it on in bed. And I Did said, you watch it? I said, I'll fucking watch this. The oh, movie. yeah. I watched Dune. I got surround sound speakers. I watched Dune the other night. <laughs> the whole from start to finish. David like put it on as a joke and I said, I'll fucking watch it. <laughs> Call my bluff. Do you, did you love it? It's great. I mean, it's really good. See, si, Violante, Zack Snyder. <laughs> the director, Zack Snyder. What, what's, this, what's the Spanish? What's this? Gabriel taught me that. Vigilantes is Watchmen. Okay, okay. You Zick should watch Snyder. it dubbed in Spanish. Maybe you should uh, do all the, the uh, languages. Well, I am fluent now. That's by true. The, oh, <laughs> by the way, I re, um, was at my house the other day, and David was gone, and I had marijuana. <laughs> and I was like putting it in my finger and lighting it. And I, I was like, I'm Walter White. I'm fucking Walter White. Although he never did drugs. Or, yeah, he never did drugs. <laughs> Or sell them. You, <laughs> you just once, manufacture you just, it. Once you start um, manufacturing meth in your um, in your uh, little pool house bag, then we'll start talking about mm-hmm. Walter White. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what do you think? Of, do you like Palm Springs? Um, I, yeah, I like. So I'm not like a big vacation person. I like my whole life to be a vacation. Do you oh. know what I mean? No, I, I know. I know. I I saw it coming. But, I was going to um, say. I was like. Interesting. So what's the alternative? Working? You certainly don't do any of that. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> so you're so lazy that you won't go to work and you also won't even relax. No, no, no. Like, I don't want to like, I don't, you know, like a getaway. I want my life to be the getaway. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't like going places for fun. No, I don't either. I don't either. It's stressful. David's always like, we should go on a vacation together. I'm no, like, vacation. I'm like, we've been gone for months. Vacation is stressful. Vacation. 
but we love Palm Springs, of course. We love yeah, the motel. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. the like like Peaches Christ has a wedding in April. Okay, and she it's in Mexico. What dog is marrying that? <laughs> there, there's there's a lid for every pond. <laughs> Wait, is she getting married to um Pot. to what's the <laughs> Hi, hi. Sorry, we're yelling. It's okay. It's not a. It's not a convent. I know. It's a motel. <laughs> People um, are sleeping. We make this so it's tranquil. It's two p.m. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's two p.m. Well, I'm hungover, so I'm thinking about sleeping. You, you. I gotta say, you handle a hangover very well. Well, I'm impressed. Because you know what? There's no sympathy for people with hangovers. It's not polio. You know what I mean? You can't be like, can you oh. help me? I'm hungover. It's like, no, bitch, oh. get up and get your life together. I, I, I yeah, I see what Ask you mean. Ask David how much sympathy he gets when he has a hangover. Zero. Less than fucking nothing. I mean, he's legitimately injured and you're kicking that boot. Girl, this is what happened to him. You're kicking that boot. I saw it. Oh, he was injured the other day. I made him go all the way to Alhambra in California with me what the to, fuck? to pick up that bar, that leather bar on a broken foot. You're a, you're a fucking, you're a, you're a, that's, that's mean. Well, that's I don't mean. have a license and someone had to drive. Are you going to get a license? I am. You are. Are you scared to drive? I feel like I'm the only person in LA who's, <laughs> who's reasonably afraid of driving. Well, the reason Reason- you should be afraid of driving is because you're the one in the car. <laughs> But also when I drive with like what Amy, oh. Andrew, we know people who are wild drivers. I know, wild, wild and crazy. Brandon Lim drives very safe, but listens to like um like I don't know, like Lily classical Public music? Radio that's classical music. Uh, you find that a, that's the bad thing? Well, it's like he ha- in the back seat, it's like a collection of items and then like, you know, the car smells like marijuana okay. but then he's listening to like fancy rich music okay and it's like the dichotomy of that yeah yeah yeah. i mean it's the where the marijuana smoke is like the most concerning part of that but is 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 driving on weed illegal it's you're not supposed to do it but there's no way to test for it oh you know like they can't they're not going to pull you over and give you a piss test is that why lagonch is always sort of like jumping off stuff because she can't drive <laughs> so she's like i'm just gonna have to leap there it's, 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 it's it's the most efficient way to yeah. travel. I have to when pick you're... up my prescription at CVS. Well, <laughs> um, now I got to tell you, you live up in the mountains now. Yeah. Do you feel like you're far from like CVS and all that? Um, well, we had, there's a store up there. There is a store up there. And is then, it one of those like it's like good old it's like borderline like good old fashioned general stores? Um, it's a little. It's got the general store like charm, but it's an actual supermarket. It's mm. actually pretty fierce. Um, but I'm not that far up there because you, sometimes you go up there and you get really windy, 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 and then you go through a gate and then it's like, if you needed to get skip town, good luck. Good luck. Good Girl, luck. You know we, what I mean? When we go to Vanderpump's, it's, we have to remember how yeah. to get there every single yeah. time. It's the Pentagon. And also sometimes those places, those stretches of the hills or whatever don't have like reliable reception. That's really scary. How do you call an Uber up there? Sometimes you can't. I've been, um, Hang I've, glide. I've been in the hills and like. I'm the only person on the sidewalk, and you just automatically, if you're not driving, you look very suspicious. Now, your yard, you post pictures of your, your yard a lot. It looks like it's almost like an incline. Yeah, it's, it's a like hill. down the mountain. It's a hill. So if you got to hang glide, do you think you could hang glide off the mountain? No, it could zip line, though. We're thinking about doing either a zip line or a water slide to the street. Are you kidding? Okay. But it would be, I mean, a zip line would be cool. It would actually be possible for, to the porch. You got to get a hot tub. Yeah, we're gonna get a hot tub. One of those giant barrels, a they cedar like, tub. Yeah, they yeah, look yeah. like um, just a big, big root beer barrels. Exactly, it's exactly that. But I was gonna, I was thinking about getting a cold plunge. What the fuck is that? It's is, the same thing, except it's with like ice water. You want that? Well, do you know about the cocaine thing? Okay, I've done cryo, and so I know that it has like many. Benefits. It has incredible, incredible like benefits to doing it good but for a hangover the pr- excellent for a hangover but excellent for everything but the problem is you got to stay in that bitch for like 20 minutes i'll say this Who's doing that about drinking and cold the only thing i miss in the winter when you're hungover stepping outside in the winter and having the cold air hit your face it's oh, yeah. revitalizing I'm, yeah i'm sure a hot shower feels like shit it does yeah so then being hungover hot is not the move because no. you're dehydrated right heat your body's like no 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 no. Yeah, it's yeah, that yeah, drake yeah. meme of like yeah 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 do but, you think drake is hot I don't. There's men in Hollywood that I I'm don't. like. Th- these these men who have these pussies blowing up. Well, oh yeah, pussies lined up out the block, down the block. Drake? I don't I don't get it. But I don't get a lot of um like there's some no, By the way, not not like I'm not saying he's ugly. No, but no, I'm no, saying like no. heartthrob, like I no. jerk off to him. I really? think it must have something to do with the voice and the music then. You know what I mean? Well, that type of music obviously has a lot of like it's sex pussy appeal juice to music. It. Yeah. Yeah, it gets the juices flowing, drip drip. Yeah. They throw those bars in the studio and then it's drip drip. 
Rap is a world that is pretty much um, unknown to you. Yes, but <laughs> but ever mystifying. Okay, incredible. No, yeah, what, like, what, you don't like any rappers? No, I I like I listen to rap music sometimes. Mm. Missy Elliott, for example, yeah. love her. Yeah, my mind can't even begin to wrap around like the production and the creation of like that type of music. Yeah, the, the closest thing I've ever seen is like one time I did a song with Todrick and I saw him like. He sent me a demo of him like tapping on a table and rapping along to it. And that's like how his songs start as like really? he kind of drums on a table and raps to it. Huh. And I know Bob will make up like verses kind of ahead of time and then perform them. But that's like, how I get my bowel movements going. I tap on the table. Sorry. Sorry. People freestyle rapping. Oh, no. It, that's, that's, I mean, that's like, yeah, that's crazy. It's, it's like poetry. Improv poetic talent. meets rap meets literature. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're fr like, you're like a spontaneously producing poetry. Yeah. It's in it, like the rhythm and they're like, I love the bravado of it. Cause these rappers get like, I mean, it's like, it's like those, um, cheesy, like I'm going to battle you with dancing. Oh, like I'm going to battle mile. you with literature. Like eight miles. <laughs> yeah. Literature. When they're like, you're ugly bitch yeah, because yeah. you're ugly and you're standing here ugly bitch. But, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, like, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> but it's good. You know? It's like sonnets and shit. Or they're like, this, this, this little, this. <laughs> See, this is how hard it <laughs> That's is. That's what I mean. Yeah. My brain can't, I think this it's. This little bitch try to scratch the itch. But the, 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 I feel the, so the, white the, saying this, but I'm like, rapping is amazing. <laughs> like it is. It is amazing. Yeah, it's like gymnastics. And but with literature. And people love it. But I mean, the people who want to rap, they wanted to rap their whole lives. Yeah. They love it. <laughs> it's cool. I feel so... I go through hell rapping. I love to rap. Honestly, <laughs> rap is fierce. Like... Because <laughs> when I started DJing, I started ripping, um, like, audios of rap songs, like, just the voice. Uh -huh. So then I have these acapella tracks of just rap, of, yeah. like, you know, WAP or, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I'm And I'm like, wow. When you take with the music and you just listen to the words, you're like... How do these whores remember the words? Yeah. Say them this fast. Yeah. My favorite rapper is probably Kaya. And she's got this song that's not very well known. She's obviously my neck, my back fame. Um, and that's her like big hit. But she's got a lot of other wonderful songs. And my favorite one is it's called Fucking Me Tonight. And she's talking about how you're going to be fucking me tonight because my pussy's better than your bitches. And she says, um, I don't ever want to leave you because I like the way you put it on me, how you lick down low. Wait. Um, Kiss my candy cane, candy rain, drip drop, good to the last drop, baby. Talk to me. You know how my pussy smell. <laughs> she really is She's going like, in. Um, and you never. Um, I'm gonna make sure you never want to go home because I'm a blow on your dick like a saxophone. Like th <gasps> things like that. Like that's um, fun though. Yeah, super fun. Really. Um. Oh, and then cupcake. Wow. You want to talk about creative, outrageous sexuality? It's amazing. I saved dick by giving it CPR. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why the gays like rap. They're like, oh, yes, finally my heart is being expressed. My, yes. This like un, uh, unbridled, like lewd sexuality. And she gets like cartoonish, literally. Um, Garfield, fat cat, fat pussy, Garfield. She calls your pussy cat's... Yeah, like there, her. She goes to places that like are. She goes to Disneyland with that sec, with those sex lyrics. Yeah, it's so nasty. The cr it's the creativity. She it's so wild. It's so wild. Um, but yeah, her songs are so they get so gross, and they get like it, it's she veers into so many little nasty neighborhoods. It's really interesting. And the delivery. Yeah, it's, it's also the delivery. Like uh, Bob did a TikTok hi. recently. I was like, he did my rap from All Stars Three, and I when I heard Bob do it, I went. Actually, not that bad. It's just me. <laughs> I'm not yeah. good but, at that. Yeah. But Bob dude, I was like, oh, it sounds good. Yeah. No, it's it's well, yeah, it's the tarantula one, right? Yeah, but Bob, yeah. and then I said, Bob, I, I called him and said, I can't tell if you're making fun of me because it was like a great poet once said and then he performs it. Yeah. I said, I can't tell if you're making fun of it, but when you did it, I thought it was kind of good. He was like, I'm not making fun of you at all. And I was like, okay, good. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> From a drag queen, an earnest compliment, I'm like, yeah. I saved dick by giving it CPR. By blowing it. Wait a minute. <laughs> we, we, the last podcast we talked about whether or not we like sucking dick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still think about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm still not sure. <laughs> David, do I like sucking dick? <laughs> <laughs> you see his face? That, He's a yeah, you do. <laughs> it's taking all your energy to get your fucking nasty mouth off his dick right but now, you My bitch. eyes, when I'm sucking dick, I look like I just saw the deadlights. <laughs> Pennywise. <laughs> 
She saved dick by giving it CPR. When I when I come, I look like um, I look oh. like Jack Nicholson in The Shining, frozen yeah. in the snow. I'm like, <laughs> damn. I don't know if I. I don't think I'm like. I'm not really into having sex right now. Sex is tired. Yeah, it's corny. It's, it's not <laughs> as corny and tired and played out as drag. Yeah, but it's getting there. Sex and drag though are both kind of they. Now, sex in drag, maybe that's what I'm missing. It's a little like, you know, we keep adding sequels, like to a great it's original a Marvel movie. Yeah, it's like yeah. well, yeah. Oh, I watched um, I watched some Marvel. Mo- I think I already talked about this. What did you? Which one? I watched Man of Steel. Oh, you didn't talk about that. Did you like it, Superman? Hombre, hombre de acela. So you watched all these in Spanish. <laughs> um, when we were in Spain, I watched Man of Steel oh, you in did? Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Did you like it? I think Superman is so boring. I thought it was too. I mean, yeah. he is Henry Cavill, unbelievably hot and a great actor. He's a yeah. great actor. Yes. Everybody in it was acting their pants off. Diane Lane. Oh, Diane. What is she doing? It right, Diane Lane. No, the Amy mom. Adams. No mom. Oh, Diane Lane is the mom. Yeah. Amy Adams is Lois. Yes. And um, everybody in it. Michael Shannon is the villain in the first one. What, is he Lex Luthor? No, he's from Krypton. Oh, crypto meth. Exactly. <laughs> um, it was good. It was just you know, it's 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 just. He's now We're, he's. I, I, I'm not interested in superhero movies that are an origin story because by the yeah. time there's a movie, we right. know what it we is. We know where it comes from. At least with yeah. ba- the Batman. Yeah. I was like, thank God we're not doing a fucking origin. Who cares? Right, 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 right. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. That's so what, your mom got shot. Yeah. And you saw bats. Blah blah blah. Yeah. yeah Big yeah. deal. Everybody's got problems. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's true. I. Uh, I don't. I, I. That's why I liked about Tim Burton's uh, Batman Returns because it was like stylized. Also had a bit of humor in it. The peng- every penguin line is a zinger. Do you know what I mean? It's fabulous. However, that cat ma- Catwoman origin story is sickening. Oh yeah, she pushed every, out of a window. Pushed out of a window and then licked back to life. She gives. She saves Dick by giving. His- <laughs> I think we got it. I think we got it. Hey, come stay at the Trixie Motel. We're booking spring. Isn't I'll be it doing my um, YouTube review of the room tomorrow morning after I uh, r- rub my ass on all of the towels. We'll what see. are you staying in? The Yeehaw Room. It's pretty. We picked the one for you that has a patio. Yeah, for. We normally don't let yeah. people smoke in here. Yeah. So if you complain about the smoking tonight, it's just uh, it'll just be it's one. God's night perfect only. breathing system. <laughs> yes. It's God's perfect breathing system. All right. Bye. bye y'all. <laughs>